Okay, you've been working on this image for a long time. You like the composition, you just love it. You've worked with color correction, played around with it, got it exactly the way you want it, and you save it. Let's say you save it as a PSD or TIFF, and you're going to put it into your own magazine that you're writing and creating in InDesign. And if you're doing that, that's brilliant, because InDesign's a wonderful program for that. InDesign is made by Adobe. Photoshop is made by Adobe. But when you move this image in that you like, you seem to notice that the colors don't look the same. And so you open up InDesign and you open up Photoshop next to each other with the image in both. And you're right, they're different. Now, what are you doing wrong? Well, you're not really doing anything wrong. You just haven't set something up. We need to set up our color settings. And I think that should be one of the first things you do. You can find color settings under the word edit. Or we could use the shortcut, Control shift k there they are, color settings. Don't forget shortcuts, guys. University study shows that you can save one hour out of every eight by using shortcuts. I am currently on North American General Purpose 2. Watch the image when I change it to something else, like maybe, oh, North American Prepress 2. See, it changed just a little bit. If I go into maybe North American Web and or Internet, changes again. If I go to Monitor Color, changes quite a bit. What you are looking at is what this program thinks you need for this image based on its output. Now the cool thing about this, I live in the United States, so I do have North American newspaper, pre-press, web, and general purpose, but there's also Europe, there's also Japan. So what you would set up here would be based on where you are. You say, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. How do I set this up? We're going to talk a little bit more about these buttons down here when we get into color. But for now, what I want is I want a system that I set up that when I use it is going to work for just about any situation. Because understand something, you really don't set this up and then forget it. You might change your color settings based on your workflow. But if you're looking for one that's probably going to work for you, it's going to be North American General Purpose 2, Europe General Purpose 2, or Japan General Purpose 2, and I'm going to change to that. I'm not going to worry about anything else and click OK. If you're using InDesign, you would need to do the same thing in InDesign. You would need to do the same thing in Adobe Illustrator. But when we get to our chapter on Bridge, I'm going to show you how you can sync all your programs together at the same time. Setting up color settings up front is a very important step to making sure you have continuity of color from your monitor to whatever output device you are going to. On to the next.